Hi YouTube, it's Raina. It's Raina again and I'm going to be recording another furry friends tag because I have two furry friends. So if you haven't seen the first one before, go ahead and check it out on my channel. It's with my dog that lives with me. But this was my first dog um, who I don't currently live with now, but obviously growing up I learned, like lived with him and like he learned everything he knows because of me because he was my first dog. So <clears throat> we're gonna do the furry friend pig. Um, so the first question is, what's your pet's name? And this is my dog, Marco Polo. So we just call <clears throat> him Marco for short. And um, yeah, but his full name is Marco Polo. Oh, thank you for burping right in my face. Thank you. Um, what kind of pet is it and what breed? Um, obviously he is a dog. And obviously, with his squishy face, <clears throat> he is a purebred pug. Um, yeah, so that's what he is, because you can tell by his giant eyeballs and his squishy face. Um, how long have you had your pet? He turned 10 this past September, so 10 years we have had him. <clears throat> how did you get your pet? Um, 10 years ago, my cat unfortunately got hit by a car right after we moved here, and I was really, really upset because I was only about 12 at the time. I was really upset, really depressed, and we had been wanting a dog, but we didn't plan on getting one so soon, but that kind of happened, and I was just so upset, and my parents, you know, knew that I was upset, and we kind of talked about it for a while, and um, we just decided, you know, we saw an ad for some pug puppies in the newspaper, we called them up, there was a couple available, so we went out and checked them out, and there was um, four puppies, I think, all together. No, five puppies all together. One female who was sold, unfortunately, because we originally wanted a female. But um, out of the three males that were available, he was the runt. And he was also the most curious. And at the time, the least, like, spazzy, like, the least um, hyper, I guess. He was just kind of more chill, and that's why we picked him. And he was the smallest, so that's another reason. Um... How long have you had your pet? The full 10 years that he's been alive. Um, blah, blah, blah. How did you get your pet? I already said that. How old is your pet? He's 10, obviously. And how would you describe your pet's personality? Um, Marco's personality has changed a lot now since he's entered more into his senior years. Um, before his senior years, like under seven, I would say, he was like, the happiest dog ever like he was always there to greet you um, full of energy extremely smart fast learning because he is like super food motivated so if I had treats and I was trying to train him like he knew exactly what to do you know I only had to repeat it like two or three times and bam he got the trick um, he knows actually quite a few tricks so he yeah I would say he's definitely smart he does understand quite a few words so if you say something in a sentence a lot of times he'll like pick up on it and be like oh what was that I know that word um but now that he's like senior citizen dog you know what I mean he he's 10 now he um he is a lot more relaxed he spends a lot more time sleeping he doesn't play as much with his toys because he used to be a lot more playful um I mean he still loves to be outside and root around and eat dirt and grass and stuff um yeah so now he's just a lot more chill um but he's still kind of a spaz like when my mom gets home and that kind of stuff like he freaks out or yeah but he's just more chill um what does your relationship with your pet mean to you well since he's the first dog that I can remember having because I had one when I was three that I don't really remember um obviously he's my first real dog so him and I are really really close and he you know to me he's like my little old man right and I don't get to spend as much time with him but I, I see him every day now that I work at my mom's house because he lives with my mom so I see him every day and I try to give him you know his loves and you know if I take Lily out for a walk and it's summer I'll take him too and I'll bathe him when he when he needs baths and I'm around and so he, he's very important to me <clears throat> Um, what is your favorite pastime to do with your pets? Well, now that he's old, oh, thank you. Now that he's old and stinky, just kidding, but he is kind of stinky. Now that he's old, um, I don't know, lots of cuddling. He still likes to go on walks when it's summer, obviously, but it's way too cold out. And now that he's older, too, I don't, I don't feel as good taking him on longer walks just because I know that he's definitely, like, up there. 
Um, <clears throat> he loves baths because I give him like a good massage and a scrub, so he really likes to have baths, whereas my dog, Lily, she does not like baths. Um, so yeah, it's just cuddling and talking to him because he likes that. Um, what next names do you call your pet? Holy crap. Okay, he has more than my other dog does. So there's Marco, Marky, Marco, Polo, or um, Pooh. We call him Pooh. I don't know why. We've always called him Pooh. Oh, Sparky, Pepperoni, Marcaroni, um, Mar Marco Polius. I don't know. I just come up with random things to call him. I don't even know why, but I don't know. Maybe it's because he's got a squishy face. It's just easy. I don't know. Just make fun of him and call him names. Not making fun in a mean way, just because he's old and cute, right? I don't know if you can tell, but he's totally rocking a spiked Harley Davidson collar because pugs are badass. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this furry friends tag, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you should do that. I don't post too often, but I'm trying to come up with more ideas. So let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or if there's anything else you'd like to see. But other than that, goodbye for now, YouTube.